Hey guys, well, welcome back to, <laughs> I don't know what an episode this is. Um, welcome back to the Crap Critters, I guess. So you'll have seen this one before if you've been following the channel. So this is the Crap Cricket. It is part of the Crap Critters series. It's not really a series at the moment. I can hear a lot of noise. It's like 29 degrees in my house today. So heaven knows what it is outside. So I've got all of my windows open. So you're gonna hear the neighborhood, I guess, so sorry. But we're looking at this guy today. So last time we looked at him, we figured out that I'd got the footprint wrong for the battery. It was actually meant to be the same footprint that's on my badge. Now, do I have one of those lying around? Yeah, I do actually. Um, one of these. So it's meant to just sort of slot directly in like, uh, like that. So it just sits there in the nice little cutout. But this one's got like three prongs on it, which means I have to use one of these, which is a surface mount, not surface mount, through hole battery, but it's not rechargeable. It's meant to be for like a CMOS backup type deal. So I've actually figured out a way I can bend the pins on one of these to make it fit. So just so that we can make one. Um, these are pretty much useless now. I can't, can't use them or or give them away or anything because they're just not going to be useful without someone making some heavy modifications to it. So I've redesigned the board to get around a couple of these issues. One of the issues was the battery holder, redesigned it so it's got the same footprint as this one. And also, um, testing it on the breadboard. In fact, let's do that now. So here it is on the breadboard. I've got one of these little battery holders and a battery in it. Now, it's kind of quiet and that's fine. I realized that would be the case but I wanted to make it a way, make a way rather of having it a bit louder. And what I've done with this schematic now and with the board layout is to make it possible for you to have two batteries in series. So this is a CR2032, this battery. In fact, um, most of the batteries I use are CR2032. And that, um, I think that means it's 3.2 millimeters in height. Um, and 20 millimeters in diameter. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that because I may well be, but um, you can get batteries that are thinner than this. So they're the same width and they're half the thickness. And so you can put two in series giving you six volts. So I've designed a extra bit on the board that adds a diode that you can throw in there. So something like a one N4004 or something like that, something, um, the 4000 series, they all have pretty much the same voltage drop. So uh, it's something like 0.6 to 0.7 volts. And I think at the lower current draws, you're looking at a lower drop. So probably 0.5 volts probably. Um, so if you've got two of these in series, that's like six volts and you wanna drop a bit because the AT Tiny A5 can only really handle 5.5 volts or six, depending on what data sheet you read, but you wanna err on the side of caution really. Anyway, let's plug this in and uh, you can hear what it sounds like. And now I'm gonna do it from this far away. So I am, what about 30 centimeters away from that speaker right now. So this is how loud it is to this little microphone. So it's got a slight delay in here and then it will go. It's currently asleep. Did you hear that? I'll put it up to the microphone this time. It's probably not as loud as my neighbors, to be honest. All right, let's try that again. Wait for it. Now, I think we can agree that's a pretty crap cricket. It's not, it doesn't sound very much like a cricket at all, does it? But that's kind of the point. Um, so I found some code online that actually sounds like a cricket, but it, I put it in this thing and I was like, well, that doesn't really go with what I'm trying to do here. So, uh, so I thought, well, some people might not like that. And I totally agree, that's fine. You can not like it. I like it, but I like the whole idea behind the crap critters thing, making it look pretty rubbish because it's just easier, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, what I've done is broken out the pads on this so that you can reprogram it if you want to um, or repurpose the board for something else. I mean, essentially, it's just a carrier for the AT Tiny 85, a speaker and a battery, isn't it? That's all it is um, with a stupid 
little design on the front. Anyway, let's solder one up, shall we? What we're going to do is we're going to use the battery holder, but use the capacitor there instead as the positive. So the positive is the, the big square end over here, I think. So I'm going to pop that into the positive of the capacitor hole, positive of the capacitor hole. Yeah, let's pretend that's a thing. And then luckily the other one just fits. In fact, let's zoom in and show you. It just about fits in there. I just need to bend that pin a little bit and then it'll be all right. So just bend it a little. Positive over there, negative there. And so you can see it's not, it's not fitting perfectly, but I've got some pins going through the board here and I'll be able to solder them on. And then we just need to pop the rest of the components in and we will be golden. So let's do it. Right, I've been touching this board quite a lot, so I'm gonna use a little bit of flux because uh, I've sort of handled most of those pads with fairly sweaty hands, unfortunately. So let's get these soldered in. There we go, perfect. Next up, we're going to need to put in one of these little IC holders, which I've managed to bend all the pins off. Well done. And we're doing that so that we can take the chip out afterwards because the chip is far more expensive than probably the entire board. Um, they're like a quid or something and these uh, the IC holders are really cheap. The battery holders are really cheap. The PCBs were not expensive, so a little garbage bit of blue tack there just to hold it down. And then we'll solder that in. I think I've mentioned before these are my favorite things to solder in because they just seem to like take no time at all to do. Well, they do if you put enough solder in them. Let's um, chop a bit more off. No, oh, I can't. Can't reach the solder sort of attached to the reel. So it's really, really difficult. I've just sort of pulled it off now. This one there, there we go, lovely. Now we need to do the speaker. So let's pop it out the breadboard. There we go. And put that in. So that is, um, on this I haven't actually marked the orientation, but positive is the one on the furthest side. I know that because this one here is the ground pin. And what we're gonna to have to do with this, because they don't quite fit. And I knew that when I was designing it, but the problem is I didn't want the eyes that far apart because I'd have to make the board a lot bigger. So all I have to do is just push the pins in a little and then uh, try not to crack the potting. And then it should just fit in hopefully. And it's okay if it stands off the board a little. I just need to make sure that that's uh, going to fit properly. There we go. So it's going to stand off the board a little, but we've got enough on the top there to solder to. So that is fine. Sorry about it being upside down. So this board, when it's, uh, when it's running, when it's actually playing audio through this little kind of speaker, piezo buzzer thing, it draws six milliamps. So not an awful lot. And it does that for about five seconds every 15 minutes. And the rest of the time it's drawing six microamps. So I did a, a calculation. You know how bad I am with maths, but I tried to figure it out and it should run for I mean, my calculation said four months on one 240 milliamp hour battery, but 
that's probably not accurate. That would, that would be if I'm using the entire 240 milliamps. Probably not gonna work like that. I reckon about two months. Um, yeah, about two months, I reckon. So what, four times an hour, it's gonna be on for six seconds. So, uh, so what, that's a total of 24 <laughs> seconds. Maths, not my strong suit. Right, let's plug a battery in. Oh no, wait, we need the chip, don't we? So let's pull that out. Right, I just need to roll this chip a little bit. It has been in a breadboard, but doesn't mean it will fit in this holder very well. And, well, I've labeled the pins incorrectly. So we'll have to sort that out. That one says pin one. Oh no, it says pin four, that is right then. Let's just check. That looks like it's going in. We're going to have to use a bit of force. There we go. So that's that's RIC in. Crunching noise as it went in. And now we just need to borrow a battery. Oh, there's one over here. We can just use that one. So are we ready? It's only going to make this noise once, isn't it? So let's bring the microphone down because um, I don't want to have to wait 15 minutes. Oh. Did you hear? It's actually already connected, I didn't realize. So I didn't need to put it in all the way. I will though, and then we'll just turn around. So what do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Critter? <laughs> Not an awful lot. Okay, well that is it for today. It's only meant to be a little one. Um, and you will be seeing him again, uh, because I'm gonna get them redone. Because this, it's just a bit of a waste. If I've not got a capacitor on there, which is what I wanted on there, um, which is to deal with any kind of rush, inrush current, inrush current, you know what I mean. Um, it should help, I would have thought, <sighs> whatever. I don't know if I really need it. I mean, I'm certainly not using it here. So um, the next iteration will have the proper footprint for the battery. Um, it will also have the diode and some pins that you can short if you don't need the diode. So if you wanted to have two CR2016s on here, then you could pop them both in this holder and then um, run it through a diode, drop it out to five volts, make this a lot louder. But as it is, you can hear it from the other side of the room, um, but if there's stuff going on, you probably won't hear it. So uh, it will last a long time on one battery and it looks stupid. And I've also put some more information on the back, a little bit of a, a, bit of a top tip about crickets, I guess. Anyway, you'll see you again soon, and I think I'm going to pop them in my Tindy store, but for now, I need to figure out what to do with these. Maybe I should just distribute them around the neighborhood. Just leave them places. Oh, it's got my details on, so maybe not. Anyway. Rawr.